Hello, my name is Richard and my passion in life is learning foreign languages. I've been doing it for a number of years and I really enjoy it. In addition to learning languages in my free time, I also like to encourage other people to learn languages and to support and give provide motivation where I can. I've studied a large number of languages in my life so far and I'm able to use quite a number of them for work and for life situations. So uh, I'm what people refer to as a polyglot or a hyper polyglot, which means that I can communicate in a large number of languages. My main concentration for study and the languages that I speak the best are from the Indo-European language family and most notably from the Germanic uh, the Slavonic, as written here, but also referred to as Slavic, and the Romance languages. They're the ones that I've studied in most detail, and they're the ones that I use most for my work and for my uh, private life. So a few years ago, I set up a page on YouTube where I started posting videos, and the reason I did this was to engage other people who were interested in languages, or people who would like to learn languages and wanted some advice, tips, motivation for doing so. And it's really been a great um, experience for me because I've, I've come across a, a number of really interesting people and, and I've also had some great responses to the things I've put out there. The first language video that I made was called Hyperpolyglot in which I speak 16 of the languages that I've studied up to now and in that video I give examples of languages that I've studied to varying levels so uh, not all of them are spoken to uh, a very high proficiency uh, but it was to give a realistic view of the, the kind of repertoire a polyglot would have when studying languages and it's been the most popular video that I've made so far. Last year I set up a Facebook page so that I could interact with people more easily. I found using the comments and the, uh, the messages on YouTube a little bit difficult to keep on top of so I thought this was a better way for people to be able to put their language questions to me, for me to answer and for um, more people to have benefit from, from from my experience and also to learn from other people and and for everyone to kind of share what they've experienced in language learning so far. In addition to the Facebook page speaking fluently, I also set up an account on Twitter uh, with similar names speaking fluently uh, just because of the the problem in, in having that size name on Twitter unfortunately it's restricted and I try and use both to uh, keep people up to date as to you know how I'm getting on with, with some studies like for example my Turkish studies that I'm doing at the moment and and also to answer questions and to uh, publicize things that I feel are of interest and are important for other language learners. I also created a blog on which I write articles on my thoughts on language learning, give tips, help, advice and also update on how I'm getting on with my studies uh, and on that I try also to answer questions that I receive from people relating specifically to what I'm writing on the blog. In addition to on my own blog and Facebook page and Twitter accounts I also try to write on the how to learn any language com forum. I find it quite a nice place for anybody who's really interested in learning languages to interact with other language learners and there's quite a lot of good resources on there. People ask me a variety of questions about language learning and one type of question that I receive quite a lot is what I think about certain courses. Well I've tried a number of language courses like Rosetta Stone, uh, Busu.com, Link. I've also tried uh, books 
uh, like teach yourself, colloquial, asimil, and I can give my appraisal on those. One course that I've never tried is PIMSA, and what I want to do now is take 30 days to do their first course and see how I get on. From the PIMSA website, I can see that they expect you, that you get to an intermediate low level at the end of uh, the level one course, which is a 30 day course consisting of 30 minute lessons that you listen to each day. Then there's a level two and there's also a level three. All of them uh, fall into this intermediate range from low, mid and then to high. But what does this mean? Uh, I personally use the European framework, so I'm just going to check to see what that means in, in terms of my understanding of language levels based on the European framework. So the common European framework of reference for languages consists of six levels ranging from A1 and A2 which is you know, the beginning stages through to B1, B2 which are intermediate stages and then C1 to C2 which are really very fluent speakers of a language. Um, at the moment I'm doing a course in Turkish. For the first level A1 it took me three months to complete doing 16 hours of lessons a week and after that I completed the A1 and got the exam. I'm now halfway through the A2 level and I will do that in another month's time so it will take six months in total to complete those first two levels. Just a little further down on the same Wikipedia article on the common European framework of reference for languages there are comparisons to other uh, schemes out there and included in this is also the scheme which is the ACTFL uh, which is used by PIMSA and that has the intermediate low mid high falling under the A2 category. Now I'm going to guess that obviously the low level will be the beginning stages, say my first month into uh, A2 Turkish, so I, I, I'm going to take that as a rough comparison. Now given, bearing in mind that it took me uh, 16 hours a week and 3 months of Turkish to get to an A1 level, I would be extremely interested to see whether or not a month of study for half an hour a day will achieve the same goal. To make this more interesting I've chosen some languages that I don't speak up to the A2 level or I don't speak at all and I would like you to choose which language you want me to try out for the PIMSA courses. So the choices are um, Dari which is the Persian spoken in Afghanistan and then Persian uh, Farsi, which is spoken in Iran, Hungarian, which is a non-Indo-European language spoken in Europe, Japanese, which is a language I've had a little bit to do with but I'm not very good at, <laughs> Korean, which I have no contact with at all, Tagalog, again which is new to me except for some Spanish loan words, and then Thai, which I was exposed to as a child but don't speak anymore. You'll be able to vote for your choice on my Speaking Fluently Facebook page and you can follow updates on my Twitter and you can also read more about my language learning and read my findings of my trial with Pimsla on my blog. I will also upload another video speaking in that language, the language that you choose for me, uh, at the end of the course to demonstrate my ability after using PIMSLA. If you're interested in helping me because you speak the language that I end up learning then please get in touch with me and I'd be happy to talk to you to help me in preparing for the final video. All the best and thank you for watching. Please do like this video and subscribe to me on YouTube for more updates and Feel free to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to the blog. All the best. Bye.